Hi, this is John from Inman Lives, and today I am joined by... Matt from Team Fractal Alligator. I'm a one-man team from Adelaide, Australia. Wow, one-man one man team, huh? And we're here to look at uh, Hacknet. Yeah, it just came out on scene about two weeks ago. It's a terminal-based hacking game. Uh, it's doing really well. It's really exciting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my friends uh, just pointed out to me that a uh, big site, uh, Giant Bomb, actually t did a quick look of your game just recently. So um, that's he was he was like, oh yeah, we got to come take a look at this. So what is uh, what is Hacknet really? Side to is it just a straight up hacking game? <laughs> like before that, I didn't even know about the Giant Bomb stuff. I've been traveling this whole time since release, and it's just me. Yeah. Um, so like, I'm finding out about like a lot of the media stuff by people that come around today. So that's super exciting. Yeah. Uh, Hacknet's yeah, it's straight up hacking game. You ever play Uplink? I've heard of it. I've, I've never been big on the hacking games, but the first person I've ever talked to that hasn't asked me about Uplink first. Oh, man. But it's uh, yeah. So I get that a lot. It's um, Uplink was a really popular, really cool hacking game a long time ago. Huge inspiration for me. I want to make something more modern, uh, more like accessible. I guess like a lot of like hacker culture, like in the movies, it's just like boxes and shit moving around on the screen. Oh yeah, I watch hackers. I yeah. mean, I know all about the you know the, Super the cool. you know put the little eye thing on and you just go grab what you want, right? Uh, I love it, right? That uh, I want to make something more realistic, more immersive. In fact, like the number one goal for the game wasn't to make it fun; it was to make it make you feel like a hacker, right? And to make it like and that, that was what I wanted to achieve. And it doesn't matter if it like doesn't do anything else; it makes you feel like a hacker by the end of the day. Like that's job done. Turns out the easiest way to make someone feel like a hacker is to actually make them a hacker, right? Sort of teach you how to use the terminal, teach you a lot about security, and uh, by the end of the game, you'll be. Like pretty well equipped for those sort of things. It's pretty exciting. So, so I can hack the dark net when I'm done with this playing this game. <laughs> no, I don't think don't think that'd be safe to put out something that teaches you that well. But it'll give you like a lot of good understanding about why security works the way it does. Like how to use the terminal. If you wanted to hack the dark net, it'll put you in a much better position to learn how to do that. So I'll actually learn something from playing this game then. Yeah, actually, uh, I won the Indie Simulation Awards for SimTech Australia for like the educational stuff for this. I'm going to IT Tech in Florida later. To look into options about putting in schools and universities. It's way more legit than I even realized, but yeah, apparently the stuff that it teaches you is really difficult to do, and the game does quite a good job, but I just made it a game. That's really awesome. Um, so what got you into development? Like, I mean, was it just a desire to, just to make the hacking game, or what, like, what, what inspired you to get into it? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think anyone makes a game that's like successful on Steam on their first pass through. I've been making games for years, um, and this is, I guess, like the one I like, like the most. But I've been making games for ages, like pretty much since I could like had access to a computer. Um, yeah, I've made a bunch of other stuff. I've made some like disastrous games. One other one, which is secretly out on Steam. Don't go looking for it. I'm not going to say anything more about that. But um, yeah, I've been making games for a really long time. I did a computer science degree at university. Um, it was in a games development club, just game jams forever. And then um, like as uh, as my stuff started to get like more successful, I started to get better at it just from having made heaps of stuff. I moved into more professional games. Well, that's really cool. Um, so, like, aside from computer games, like, what, what, did, what do you, what inspired you growing up? Like, what kind of games did you play when you were growing up? When I was growing up, you did up. say you did say Uplink, but was, was yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've played so much stuff. You know how much Rocket League I play right now? Oh, that's great. I play that a lot. So, yeah, dude, I talked to the developers last night. Super exciting. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I play like loads of Rocket League and loads of Hearthstone at the moment, but. Like when I was growing up, it was all like all about Crash Bandicoot all the time, and it was weird. I don't think it, you can really see the influences from a lot of other games in Hacknet just because there's not that much like it. That's actually probably the hardest thing about making the game is that because it's something kind of new, the structures that are there and like the tropes don't really exist for it yet. Like with a platformer, right? You know how to beat a level. Like you just go from the left hand side, you move to the right hand side. And once you get there, you're done. You like you win the level. And games that break those standard tropes, like Mega Man X, right? Like where it's all you pick which section you want to go in, and you yeah. get the yeah, so awesome, right? But that's because it's like breaking this established trope where there weren't established tropes for me to break. So everything I do is like breaking conventions and making stuff up, like in Hack Dead. So yeah, it's pretty hard. So it's kind of hard to be like, oh, you can see the inspiration from these games from my childhood in it, because I don't think there's that much like it. Well, that's really awesome. Um, I have no computer experience, like programming or not, but I'm actually going to give this a try because, I mean, it sounds like something that I might learn something from. So <laughs> well, that'd be awesome. By yeah. The time you're done, you will have computer experience. That's awesome. That's great. Um, and then I'll program a game and I'll be all set, right? That's pretty much how it works. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, Matt. That's been great. Um, I'm John with Event Lives. This is Matt. And uh, thank you very much for telling us about Hacknet. Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs>